Have a look, Sunan. For the sake of our ears, shut your mouth! Sure, and you're an idiot. You are all the same. Grab the bitch! Faye, won't you let a caged bird sing? Shit. I'd hoped an audience of tone-deaf Danes might permit. Are you Kira? Hold her down! Wonder of wonders. How much trouble can I be in at once? Can't help you. This one comes with me. No, no, no! She will answer for this insult! Can't change your mind? <laughs> you owe me. Won't take long! Looks like our Portes has made friends with the ground. On your feet, Portes. Malian, everything is spinning. How cold that to remedy this quickly? <laughs> To flush the ale from you. If you think I'm going to lock you to Tara, you're mistaken. Tara? Wait, who are you? Barret sent me to collect you. He's waiting at the stables. Ah, an envoy. Tell me, how much coin would an envoy be wanting to speak nothing of this brawl to Barret? He'll tie a guard to my hip the next time I'm in Dublin. A man can be so sensitive sometimes, do you know what I mean? I do. Barith is my family. 
Well, then, I think my mouth has gotten me in enough trouble today. Try opening it less. Works for me. Shall we? Barath has never spoken of you. What name do you bear? Eivor. I hail from Norway, now settled in England with the rest of my clan. A clan, eh? Are they all fist thumpers like you? It is because of these fists you live to sing another day, poetess. So true. Varys! I was beginning to worry. What took? There was... trouble. Ara, no need to be so tense. Shall we ride for Tara? We don't want to be late for the coronation. After you. I was surprised to meet a member of your family, Boris. Eivor tells me she's come from England. Yes. Eivor is helping to establish trade in Dublin, secure valuable resources with faraway lands. In time, Dublin will become the heart of Ireland's trade, one that each and every kingdom can benefit from. That will no doubt please the future High King. Yes, well, above trade, I am hoping Flan can see Dublin as a friend and ally. You and many others. A relationship with Barith would be one worth fostering. It would be foolish of your king to ignore it. It appears Eivor is not abreast with our kingly history, Boris. We were hoping to have a meeting with Flan. My wish is to strengthen our ties. Can you see it done? Perhaps. We will see how the evening goes. Quite the event, hmm? Spared no expense, that much is clear. Ara, my lady, one of the priests has gone missing. A violent mess is left of his tent. I fear something terrible has happened. Missing? Are you sure? Could be nothing. Could mean danger. Where is Flon? He's not yet arrived. That gives us some time. Kira, act as if nothing were amiss. Bareth and I will look into it. Where is this tent? Up the hill, to the left. Be careful. There was a fight here. It is the eve of the coronation and already trouble brews. Keep your wits and stay close. We do not know anything yet. Something dark happened here. We must follow the blood. A succulent roast. Let us go back and follow another trail. The blood leads off away from the main camp. Perhaps towards those tents? The blood stops here. Where do these cart tracks lead? This story is like to have a poor ending. I fear so, cousin. 
On such a momentous day as well, Flan's coronation may not be as hoped. Show me. There. A cart up ahead. Looks like they hit a snack. Recognize him? That is Senan, the priest. Bastard stripped him of his clothes. That camp up there. What is it? Anachdu is no camp, though it appears someone has made it into one. Let's go. What do you think? The priest was kidnapped. They took his clothes. I believe whoever did this means to wear them. A disguise? We will soon find out. I should not be seen in this area. There. And that one is dressed as the priest. Follow my lead. Search him. Sent to kill Flon. The letter is unsigned. An unknown enemy. Come. We must bring news of this to Kira. I'm with you. You handled yourself well, Eivor. I have to say, you really are no stranger to these sorts of encounters. You did not do so bad yourself. Aye, we stopped the death of a king this day. If only we knew who was behind it. No idea who would go to such lengths. You can take your pick of the Northern E Nail Kings, though it is the kings of Ulster who particularly dislike Flon. Different king, same story.
Best not to draw attention here. Any story? The priest is dead, and so too are his killers, bandits. I found this. It's an order to kill Flan. One of them was to disguise himself as a priest, cut Flan's throat during the coronation. Right under our noses. Why take the risk? Why not poison, or striking at him in his sleep? Poison can fail, and to kill him in his sleep lacks spectacle. But your point is sound. The killer would not have made it out alive. He was ready to die. Whoever plotted this is intent on seeing Flan fall. We need to warn him. After the coronation, I will not have this gnawing at him. Flan earned this. He will enjoy it. Meet him afterward at his quarters in Duro. He will make time for you there. Now, if you will take my excuses, I need to tidy up. Come along, Eivor. The water was not that murky, was it? You don't know much about the role of a poetess, do you, Eivor? Enlighten me. I will. Well, what are you waiting for? I asked to be excused. That meant you as well. I see other kings here. News of Flan's inauguration has reached far and wide. Come, we should join them. Is that him, Flan? Yes. What are they doing? Blessing him. Abbot Owen is the highest ranking official among the Christians. His blessing asserts that Flan is ready to fill the boots of his predecessor. It is all done before the Leah Fall, a sacred stone that is said to endow the rightful kings with long reigns. Does it work? Depends on what you consider long. Coronations are long. 
Where is the food? You have not changed. I am here. I may as well enjoy myself. And with that, Flan's enemies multiply. This warring of dynasties runs deep. If he's a smart king, he'll be eager for allies. Smart he is, but also impassioned. His plan to subdue the North is not driven by power so much as it is bloodlust. Back there on our ride from Dublin, Kira made it seem there was more to you and Flan. What am I missing? A uh, detail. A large detail. You see, the northern king who crowned me, Ed Findlia, he murdered Flan's father and took his place as high king. Then, as is custom, he married Flan's mother. Safe to say there is no love lost between you. None. To Flan, Ed was a venomous snake, and so too are the ones he favored. Winning his trust will be no simple task. We just thwarted an attempt on his life. That should at least perk his ears up. Let us hope. I will leave immediately for Duro. Meet me there as soon as you can.